What's going on guys? My name is Chris and in today's video we're going to be showing you how to install a new sprinkler line. So I have a sprinkler head right here right now. As you can see I kind of have it dug up a little bit. I'm going to replace it with that line but not only that I'm going to be running another line up here. As you can see it doesn't really get water too, too well that often. Uh, I want to put another sprinkler line <laughs> right where I had the sprinkler head but um, the distance to this is probably a good 20 to 30 feet um, so we're gonna use flexible lines we're not gonna have to trench that far so just follow along step by step and you'll have your new sprinkler system and your new line installed in no time okay, so first thing that you're gonna want to do you're gonna want to figure out the sprinkler head that you're gonna want to tap off of for me I'm going to tap off of this I already dug up a little bit of the dirt just to see what was under there and see exactly what the parts that I'm gonna need so first I'm going to dig out a little hole here and then I'm going to start my trench going up that way Okay, so now that I'm at the bottom of my sprinkler head, I'm going to want to start to make a trench going up that way. Make this simple, I am just going to be stabbing into the ground and pushing the dirt back and forth just like this. This is going to alleviate a lot of dirt up on your grass. It's gonna make things a lot easier. Okay, so now that I pretty much started my line going up this way, I'm going to kind of work it all together, but right now I'm gonna start putting my hose, which is flexible. I recommend using this, this irrigation line because it's super simple to install. Well, now once we get our line in the ground, we're gonna start stepping on this so it does not come out. Okay, now the line is run. Now I'm going to make the connections where my original sprinkler head was. I'm gonna show you how to make up this connection. Okay, so when you get to the bottom of your sprinkler, you're gonna to wanna to take your cutters, which you can get these in the description below. They are strictly for irrigation, cutting PVC and flex line just like this. We're gonna cut that off. See how it cuts directly off? We're gonna take this piece out. This is what we're gonna put in, it's a T. We're gonna stick this T in there, uh, and this is going to be coming from our water supply line. This is gonna be coming up from the sprinkler head that we just removed, and this one is going to be going to our new sprinkler that we're installing. So here's a little pro tip. Um, this line sometimes is hard to work with and hard for it to really snug onto these fittings. So what I'm gonna do is I have a torch. I'm just going to heat this up just a little bit so it just slides on and there's no issues and there's no leaking water or anything like that in the ground. You can get the same exact torch at the description below. Now it doesn't take much. We're just gonna slide that in. See how easy this becomes? See how that just goes in? Super easy. And I kinda want it to go that way. All right. So now we're going to see our line, which is about right there. We're gonna cut this. Now you don't wanna keep the heat on there for too long really quick and that's it just to loosen it up a little bit <clears throat> and if you want like right now it's hot pour a little bit of water on there it will cool down quicker so we have our old line our water line coming in right here we have our new line going all the way up this way 
and I'm gonna stick this sprinkler head right here. Okay, so now I have the sprinkler head, I have the fitting. This is the fitting that you're gonna need for that works with this flex line. We're going to screw this in. So here we go. So here's our line. We're gonna connect it right to there. And this end should be all done soon. All right, so once we're done this area, we're gonna connect this. We're gonna warm this up. We're gonna bury this, get it in a nice level spot. And then we're gonna move on to our new uh, sprinkler. All right. And that's what it's gonna look like. I just wanna get this down a little lower. All right, so this end, it should be all good. Now I'm going to make my way up here, put in that sprinkler head, and we're gonna fire this up. So I'm going to finish digging this out. I'm going to put it right here. I'm gonna bury my hole here, drop this sprinkler head in the ground, and boom, we're gonna be done. All right, now it's my favorite time. Try it out. If you're wondering, it is the middle of July here. I'm sweating like a pig. It's hot. I always decide to do outdoor projects on the hottest day of the year. If you're wondering, it's in the middle of July right now. It's about 90 degrees out and the humidity index is off the chains. Let's fire it up. I just turned all my sprinklers, letting it charge, and we're gonna see how this thing looks. We got the one coming up right here. There's the new one. The wheelbarrow's in the way. Oh wow, look at that. And there's the, the other new one. Awesome. So I'm gonna make a couple adjustments because I want this thing to spin a full 360. All right, perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna shut the sprinkler back off and I'm gonna backfill everything in. I'm gonna stomp on my line, make sure it's all settled, get all this nice and level, and I'm gonna fill that hole back in. Guys, and that's it. We are 100% complete. And throw down some fresh grass seed. Now, one thing I do want to show you, I want to show you how these sprinkler heads can do a 360, completely spin around and continuously keep going around. So let's fire up the sprinkler one more time, and I'm going to show you guys exactly how that's done. All right, so as you can see, the sprinkler, it's mainly just hitting over here and going over this way. So I, I, obviously I want it to hit there, but I want it to hit here too. So I'm going to show you how simple this is to have it go on a 360. So there's a pin, so you can see there's a pin right here. You just lift that up, and now it will continuously spin 360 degrees. Just like that, super simple. And just like that, two new sprinkler heads installed and one brand new line going out to where my original sprinkler system couldn't reach. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, it would mean the world to me if you hit that subscribe button because I come out with new DIYs and home repairs on a daily basis. And all the materials that I use in today's video, you can get them directly in the description below. Again, guys, my name is Chris. Thank you so much for watching. And this is Fully Remote Lifestyle.